Hello guests and subscribers. Today we will walk through a small town in the northwest of France, Guingamp. Please, if you enjoy our walk, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Guingamp was a market town in the Middle Ages and is now an industrial town on the west side of the Côtes d'Amour of Brittany. The town's industries include food processing and the manufacture of electronic machinery. Guingamp has a pretty town centre with several interesting monuments and is on the Brittany coast. Attractions are close together and it is an easy town to explore. It is best to start your visit in the Place de Centre town square. This square is quite large and surrounded by houses built in stone, some of which are half timbered. The town has made an effort to ensure the square is attractive and there are small fountains and several cafes in the square. The Fontaine de la Plomme at the south end of the square is very impressive. It was built in the 15th century and put in its current location in the 16th century. This fountain was the main water source for the centre of Gingan from the 16th century right up until early in the 20th century. There is a statue of a woman, although it is not certain who she represents. Possibilities include a Celtic god called Anne or the Virgin Mary. Basilica Notre Dame de Bon Secours is the most important monument, which is a short distance outside the square to the south. The church has been renovated and modified over the centuries. It was damaged during World War II, but has been restored. It has several artworks of interest. On the street rue de Notre Dame, you can visit a variety of shops and cafes. Another monument of interest is the castle, which is called the Chateau de Pierre II. The fortress is built in the 12th century. It was demolished and rebuilt in the 14th century by Pierre II, Duke of Brittany. The chateau still retains some of the ramparts and parts of some of the original towers. You can also walk around the recently excavated part of the heart of the castle. Until recently, this was the site of Gingam Primary School. Between the parking area and the ramparts, you can see a modern sculpture called the Sculpteur de la Apanteur. Another imposing building on the edge of Gingamp is the 19th century town hall and behind that is a large public garden. In mid-August there was a large festival of Breton music taking place. This was very professional with groups of local performers wearing traditional dress and playing the music of the region. 
The town was very lively.